Hey there friends, welcome to another video from the garage. Today we're gonna to do something super short and simple. I'm gonna show you what deck screws to use when you are doing Trex deck projects. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so pardon the mess. As you can see, we're in the middle of a little Trex deck project out here on the back deck. What we've done is we've taken our old base of our deck and we've just overlaid it with these nice new Trex boards for uh, life and a little bit more durability. Now, once we get to the edge of our deck, basically we are going to be unable to use these little Trex uh, brackets. As you can see, they're right in the middle of the boards. Those are the hide uh, brackets. As you can see, we've gone all along the stack. There are no uh, screw marks in any of these. So it makes it look really clean, really nice. But once you get to the edge, we have to use one of these, uh, what, what are called squared off uh, pieces of the Trex. And it just means it doesn't have the groove like the other ones do. So in this case, we're gonna have to nail it to our base of our deck using these screws. Now, as you can see, I've already knocked in a couple of these screws here and they go in really, really nice. Now this is super important. This is the screw that I'm actually using. Let me show you the box here. This is purchased at Lowe's. These are the Deck Plus by Hillman. You can see that uh, we've got the three inch version here in red composite. They really do a good job of matching most popular Trex decks. And uh, basically it comes in 54 pieces in this box. It's about 10 bucks, again, at Lowe's. You can probably get these on Amazon or something like it. I'll put a link in the description box below. Now, let me show you what happens if you don't use these specific screws. Now I'm gonna come over here to this edge of the deck. And again, without doing enough research and thinking, we went straight into trying a couple of different screw types. And what happened is this mushrooming effect, as you can see, it just pulled the Trex deck up. It looks really, really ugly. Thankfully, we're gonna be able to shave this back, hide it, do a little compound uh, so that we are able to make that look nice again. But it really was discouraging. So again, after some research, we figured out that these are gonna be the best screws to use. So let me show you a couple of key features about these guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's a unique screw. It reduces that fiber mushrooming that I showed you on the other part of the deck. There's no pre-drilling needed, which is huge. These just self-tap and are able to go in fairly easily. You do need to use an impact driver, I highly recommend. As you can see, it's got this nice tapered end at the bottom for that self uh, tapping. And then up here at the top, you can see it's reverse threaded. You see how that kind of switches the threading up top and that prevents that mushrooming effect that uh, you can get with some of those other deck screws. So let me go ahead and drive one of these in. I'm gonna start it just so I can use two hands and then I'll show you how it goes into the compound decking. Okay, so as you can see, I've got these screws started here. You do get a little bit of this bubbling effect kind of up top, but it really does wipe away nice and clean. So let me go ahead and get my drill in here. By the way, it does come with the correct hex bit that goes straight into there. As you can see, the farther I pull away, it really does hide the top of those screws fairly well. So that, in my opinion, is the correct uh, deck screws to use for your Trex projects. You can find these again at Lowe's or I'll put a link in the description box below where you can pick these up on Amazon. Friends, thanks for watching. If this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Let's know we're making good videos for you. Stay tuned. We're making a bunch more of these Trex uh, tutorial videos. Those are coming out really soon. Thanks for watching.